what can I learn from this experience? This is a critical question, and I will tell you, so many people go through life and they miss out on these wonderful opportunities to learn. Every experience that you have in life is a tremendous opportunity to learn and to grow. You just have to take advantage of that. There are lessons inside of everything. And sometimes the most powerful lessons are hidden inside of hardship and pain. Think about the most traumatic situations that you've been in in your life. And what have you learned from them? How many times do we hear people say that when they lost a loved one, how they really learned to cherish that time and make sure that they had enough time to spend with their families? You know, how many times when someone has a physical illness or injury and is no longer able to do the things that they used to do, suddenly they develop this great appreciation or they learn that there's so much more that they haven't even explored yet. Wow, and I thought, you know, if ever I wasn't able to do that anymore that my life would be over. But I have found that there's so much more to life than just that. Look for the lessons. Because I can tell you this, if you don't learn them in that experience, you're going to recreate a similar one later on down the road that gives you the opportunity to learn then. Life is a series of lessons to be learned. That's how I define it. You can learn them now or you can learn them later. It's entirely up to you. Okay? And then how can I turn this into something beneficial? What good can come out of this experience? Do we often look at that? Do, how many times do we take that approach? Do we really believe that when things don't work out according to the way we wanted them, that when things go horribly wrong, how many times do we believe that there's something beneficial in that? I went through a divorce 25 years ago. I married my high school sweetheart, only guy I ever dated. We got married, we had four children together, and after 13 years of marriage, he decided that his much younger secretary was a lot cuter to be with. <laughs> and so he left me for someone else. Now, don't get me wrong, initially I was devastated. Angry? Oh my God, angry. Okay? Because of the fear. The fear of, oh my God, how am I going to raise four children on my own? The hurt the intense pain of being rejected. That's the number one fear of all human beings. Do you know that? The fear of rejection. The fear of being alone. The fear of not being loved, of not being good enough. And so I was experiencing all of these emotions. And then I decided that, you know what? If I couldn't resolve things with him, if I couldn't salvage this marriage and, and bring him back home, that I was going to take this experience and I was going to use it to my advantage. I was going to build a new life for myself and a better life than I ever had before. That out of this supposed tragedy, which it was, okay, a lot of people suffered. This goes through your whole family. So there was a lot of pain and suffering for a lot of people. But I decided that I was going to make something good come out of it. And I rebuilt a whole new life for myself. And my life now, 25 years later, is infinitely better than it ever could have been had I stayed with him.